How do? I don't know if you can see Happy Larry or Stephen. Early morning it is. I thought I'd get out and do a vlog. It's been a busy week. So, Fyodor Dostovsky, Russian novelist. Try getting that round your chops at 5.15 in the morning. There or thereabouts, the degree of civilization in society can be judged by entering its prisons. So prison reform. Lots of groups been around for years. Some over a hundred years. Prison reform groups and the like, do they really change anything? They might highlight issues, but I don't think they really change anything. So the brutality of prisons in the 70s and 80s. Warning signs were there. Plenty of newspaper articles from the time. Um, we had people from groups, uh, the National Front and the like, working in prisons, prison officers, members of the National Front. Brutal place. <coughs> Powder keg, in fact. Anyway, it went up April the 1st, April Fool's Day, 1990, Strange Ways, where I used to work. HMP Manchester, as people <laughs> would now like it to be known. Yeah, it went up. That was the first real prison reform. Strange Ways riots. Yeah, a lot of things changed after that. Lads I've met who were doing long sentences at the time saw the changes and for the better. Wolf Report, I believe it was, loads of recommendations. I started in the prison service, private sector first, then public sector just after the millennium. I have to say, this week, a lot of reflection. Looking back, I did enjoy the job. Yep, it was challenging, particularly the private sector, but I did enjoy it. My time at Strange Ways, 2005 to 2015, to be exact, 2005 to March the 1st, 2015, because then changed, things changed drastically, I did enjoy. Again, plenty of moments. <laughs> Where you squeezing your buttocks together. You know, it is that sort of job. There's a lot of them prisoners and not a lot of you officers. However, the relationships you have made it a safe place. Strange ways, the last report when I was there, uh, Her Majesty's Inspector of Prisons, he was one of the last reports he did, he was the outgoing inspector. Possibly, possibly one of the safest and best inspections he'd ever done. You know, let me, let me just tell you briefly what they do, these people, these uh, inspections when they come into your jail, right? They go anywhere and talk to anyone. They can look at any documentation, any incident. Yeah, they can go in segregation units where historically all the bad boys were. They can go on the healthcare units, mostly people with mental health issues, mental illness. Just go back to jail talking to everybody and anybody. Civilians, they can go into the offices, talk to governors, anybody. And it come back that it was a safe place. Prisoners on the whole felt safe. Staff on the whole felt safe. And relationships between staff and prisoners were really good. March the 1st changed drastically. Uh, workforce modernization, benchmarking. Two things that people came to eight, went through the prison service over two years. Basically, it was a reduction in staff. 213, voluntary VEDS, voluntary redundancy, got load or rid of a lot of experience. Right now, absolutely in crisis. Yes, yeah, staffing in crisis. It's getting worse by the month. 
Now there was massive recruitment drive in the prison service. End of eighties, nineties, a lot of people who've been there a long time are retiring. A lot of experience is going and it's not being replaced. A lot of prisons are in special measures. What's that mean? It means they haven't got enough staff to do the job. Come out you, let me have a sit down, Stevie. Go on kid. It means they haven't got enough staff to do the job. A lot of police forces in the UK are in special measures too. Because they haven't got enough staff or they've got the wrong staff to do the job. What are we going to do about that? Five million people in this country, allegedly. I'll just show you the scenery while I'm wittering on. Five million people in this country, allegedly, eligible for work, choosing not to work. I think net migration this year, they're looking at a million people. That's a million people coming to this country. Just like prisons are creaking and crumbling Violence is definitely on the up in prisons, or perhaps it's the level of violence. You know, one or two people I know are telling me that people are getting battered again in prisons. Prisoners. I know from the other side of the coin, because we like to put a balance, that there are some serious staff assaults and they're becoming more frequent. Prisons are full of drugs. I talked about spice, you know, um, nasty drug, lethal. You know, th th there's nothing positive. Uh, crime is going through the roof. People are flat on their ass. Uh, cost of food, food, some food items are becoming a luxury. You know, food is going up daily. If it gets to the point where people are starving, they're just going to start looting and smashing things up. Any of you who are familiar with what's happening in some of America's cities, you know, you've literally skid row, skid row, a term down and out living in an area. It's happening everywhere. Special measures, prison service, special measures, police force, net migration, a million. People, you know, can't afford to live. Prison's about taking away your liberties. You know, prison is the punishment. You don't go to prison to be punished. Right now, things going on in the world where they're trying to take away your liberties. In this country, you know, what I'm looking at now, I mean, this is local to me. But these areas of our country, beautiful areas, Dartmoor and the like, where they're going to restrict access. You'll no longer be allowed to go to certain areas, walk in certain areas, camp in certain areas of our country. It's taking away our liberties. They're going to look at how you travel. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, Thanks to everyone who support the channel, guests, past, present and future. Thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon, everyone who's bought me a brew and your continued support in the comments for guests, myself and the channel in general. I've got a bit of a break this week. Last week I pretty much worked every day. So I'm going to get back on it. All those people who've emailed me or contacted me on social media, my apologies. I will catch up over the next few days. Parting shot as always. Stephen. This is going to be a new thing, guys. Early morning vlogging. It's the only time I can get this guy out in this weather with his age. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'll see you there.